finally you arrived at Alun-Alun Bundar or Alun-Alun Tugu, Malang City. First, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Fitriana Nursal Sabila or you can call me Ica for simple. I'm from Heavenly Travel Vacation Trip and Tour and here I will be a tour guide uh, for the next two hours in Alun-Alun Bundar. By the way, how was your trip in Malang so far guys? It's fun and interesting, right? Exactly. Alright, now this is our chance to explore and stroll one of Malang's well-known city icons. Yes, that is Alun-Alun Bundar. Welcome to Alun-Alun Bundar or Alun-Alun Tugu, Malang City. Okay, while strolling this place, I want to explain a bit of history uh, of this place, please. So please listen and follow me this way. Let's go. Okay, you guys can explore this place while listening to me, ya. Yeah? In the late 18th century, Malang was chosen by Menir and Mefruf or the Dutch masters and mistress as their resting place. The issuance of the decentralization law in 1913 was also used by the Dutch to move their government center from Alun-Alun Kota to this Alun-Alun Bundar. Long time ago, this Alun Alun was just a park which was built by the Dutch East Indies colonial government and named as JP Cohn Plain. J P C O E N P L E I N. The purpose of this park was as a form of respect for the Governor General Jean Peter Zoon Cohn and as a complement to the Dutch East Indies governorate building at that time. This park has witnessed the development of Malang City since it was controlled by the Dutch colonial, including when the status of Malang changed into Kota Madia in 1914. For your information guys, our Independence Day was on August 17, 1945 and a year after it, the first stone was laid and the organdy was placed in the foundation for the constructions of that monument. That monument was signed by our first president, Insur Sukarno, and our first governor, Age Surato. But when the constructions had reached 95%, that monument was destroyed by the Dutch in the first military aggressions as a form as their resentment over the persistence of the Yet of Malang City in defending their territory in 1947. But before the Dutch came to Malang, almost a thousand buildings built by the Dutch in Malang were burnt down by the local people, including Malang City Hall. Um, did you know where is Malang City Hall? Yes, over there, that is Malang City Hall. This event, known as Clash One or Malang Bumi Hangus, fortunately in 1953, uh, the collapsed monument was rebuilt by Malang government and was reintegrated by the first president of Republic of Indonesia, yes, Insir Soekarno, and named as Alun Alun Bundar. I also want you to know that Bundar means circle or round. As you can see that this place has circle or round shape, right? Yes, Bundar means circle in Japanese. But local people also often called this place as Alun Alun Tugu because this place has that majestic monument. If you notice, that monument is in the form of bamboo runcing that symbolizes this sharp bamboo as a weapon used by Indonesian people to repel the colonizers. Uh, there is also a chain that describes the unity and integrity of us, Indonesian people, that the, colonizer, the, that the colonizers couldn't separate. Now, look at the two groups. Yes, the Tugu also represents the center of five directions apart from the main direction leading to the Malang City Hall. Yes, and the other four directions um, represent the highway that empties into this Alun Alun. Um, please, everyone, come closer. For your information, this 
pair these pairs have four and five points which is combined with the 17 foundation and eight level of stars that symbolizes our independence day when was our independence day yes you're right august 17 1945 oh i noticed that you have been photographing this pool since then are you missed with this beautiful lotus did you know that even this lotus has its own meaning you don't know yes everyone for your information this beautiful red and white lotus uh, symbolizes our flag color that is that means courage and chastity red mean courage and white mean chastity now this alun-alun bundar is one of the icon of Malang city which is frequently visited by tourists including us today and beside that the local people also often joke or just spend just spend their leisure time with their families in the morning or afternoon please if you have any questions about this place just ask me and i will explain it for you uh, before that can we take a picture yes all of you i will capture it for you okay Ready? One, two, cheese! Oh, may I help you take your picture? Uh, okay, okay, your camera. Okay, ready? Ready? One, two, cheese! Okay, so everyone, there are five minutes left before you have to go to the next destination. Uh, you can enjoy it by taking photos or just walking around this place and later we have to gather again here get it okay thank you everyone you can go now so sad our time is up now you have to go and i will see you next time but by the way thank you very much for having me here guys it's a very pleasure for me to guide you all in this alun alun bunda please enjoy your trip in malang and see ya goodbye thank you guys